Hi, Madam C, and welcome to the British Motor Museum after a two hour drive. I have clearly brought my 350Z. There's a Chevy C10 doing some revs with some flames on its bonnet. And look, a yellow MX5 proving that yellow is the best colour, as shared by this Ferrari 308. Check out its number plate. 3OB, obviously the B looks like an 8, yellow stitching on the interior as well, next door to a 355 and a Lotus Esprit. But today's question is about Japanese cars. Do you still like Japanese cars? Because this seems to be the more common car you see it shows these days, and now the classics etc are becoming a little bit scarce. And I'm noticing a bit of a trend difference that when I upload Japanese car videos, people get a little bit bored because it's the same old chaser. I'm surprised there's no chaser here so far. But unusually, another common sight it shows is sticker bombed hatchbacks like this Clio. It's got some material over the rear wiper. Your approval is not required and probably not quite there either. Take a look down the side, you've got fire exit sign. The most museum have got some of their classics driving up the strip doing a demonstration. And of course, the new trend is to have chalkboards on the bonnets so people can sign. Built in France, destroyed in England with a bit of shiny tape. And here's an unusual blue for a Cobra. This one in particular is a BMW Z3. I like how the racing stripes go over the mesh of the grille as well. But here we go, almost back to normality with the MR2 and an S15 next door. These types of cars just don't tend to interest people quite as much anymore, even a spec R. Check out its blue Recaro's inside. I mean, it might just be me and noticing a trend that isn't actually happening, but let me know in the comments. What do you prefer? What would you rather see? JDM or Japanese cars or something a little bit different. Let's try something a little bit different. Uh, well, there you go. Wide Arch Mini. You'll notice by its roof scoop, this is mid-engined. Obviously, it will be rear-wheel drive as well. Got a massive turbo in the back of that as well. Powered by a Civic Type R engine. And look here, a Dax Tugero AC Cobra replica finished in dark green with a Ford 427. Oh! Okay, well, there we go. That's uh, improved somewhat. There's an Aston Martin 177 at the show. I had not expected to see one of these. Obviously, the home of Aston Martin is just over there or there. I think it's over there somewhere. And yes, I'm still drawn away from the 177, even though it's my favourite Aston Martin, because another favourite car of mine, as well as the Cobras, has turned up. In the best colour, too. A Dodge Viper GTS. Finished in yellow with black stripes, bit of a bumblebee. Mobile one down the side, that is the dream. And I've just noticed purple 350Z in front of it. But we try not to film the JDM, although a 300ZX has just pulled in as well. We've got the GT86. I do quite like the seats inside the 350Z. Yes, they indeed are ultra, ultra floral, ultra fantastic, ultra, ultra fabulous. Is there actually a turbo over there? Yeah, it's just there. Where? You can see it. Oh yeah. Bit of a cheeky turbo underneath the 350Z. But due to the fact that this show is about two hours away from me, I am a little bit late. So cars are starting to depart the show. That's pink. And I would love to capture some of these on the road. Look, you can see a few of the departures with their aircon on and even a little Renault Spider. Again, in the best colour, probably the best shade of yellow, liquid. So I'm going to walk back to the entrance, back to my car, and film some of these cars, not just the JDM, leaving the show. I'm hoping that the 177 goes out onto the road and it's not stored here. So due to camera rows, I might have to film my phone. Oh, there's an Evo. There it goes. Stung! I've been stung. Oh, it's the 177! Yes, and it is coming this way! Oh, I heard VTEC! Yes! Oh, late arrival. S14. Also, if you want to bring Neil's back but you don't have a car, you can buy the t-shirt. Or if you have brought Neil's back, you can buy the t-shirt. It's obviously available down below the Bring Neil's Back one. There's two different designs. Now we've had some noises and downshifts from the M2 already. 
Here comes the ML2. District bus. <laughs> Is that an intercooler I spot? Yes, turbocharged. Wow. Lineup, I can see an R8 GT, a Fox Body Mustang, so many other cars. Oh, there goes the Clio. Oh, what? Also, yes, I believe this must be a new traffic light. It doesn't look that new, but it must be. What have we got? 911. Oh, now check out this Fiesta! Maybe the engine's just a bit cold. Now we've got the Audi RS5, we've got the 355, the Cobra Z3. today is proving that you can leave this junction without hitting a traffic light which must be new it just doesn't look very new maybe it was just a repair I think it was just it just tilted back up anyway next we've got a Mark 2 MX-5 next round a recreation of the Aston Martin DBR1 obviously going towards Aston Martin the area has just started to reek of fish like semi-rotten, semi-fresh fish. Well, almost appropriately, we have a stingray. <laughs> Maybe that was the smell. Oh, it's a Mustang. Oh. Mm, bit of talk from the Audis. Oh, ho, ho. Bit of understeer there. Ah, the Cobra. He's going the wrong way! It sounds good! There it goes! VXR8's coming this way! Oh, there's the Cobra! It looked quick! Mark 1 Golf didn't look quite as quick. probably going the wrong way but it's okay the VS is here and the boosted 350Z behind the GT86 Whoa. pretty crazy that more from Ford the ST and the Mustangs What have we got in store here? Sounds exciting! Wow! I think the S14 is going to send it a little bit. I've been doing this too long. Wow, it's been on a rally! The beauty box! Renault Spider is in this clan, but he's not coming this way, but the Focus RS is! Wow! <laughs> Little bit of carbon fibre, look at that.
Oh no, it's fake. The other Subaru! It's the Ginger Garage, apparently. Another Subaru! Symphony. Yellow combo, Chimera. Whoa. Best sounding car in the world. Here comes the Lotus Elise. Sporting. Oh, Subaru got cut up there. I'm content that that was pretty much that. So a mixture of Japanese cars, a lot of Subarus, and then the cars that I love, the Viper, the Cobras, the TVR Chimeras, and of course, the Aston Martin 177. I'm currently running over some daisies and dandelions and trying not to get stung on my bare knees. Oh, I've got stung on my bare knees. So I hope you enjoyed that video from my day. Go follow me in all my social channels for the updates, highlights and pictures of the meets that I take. T-shirts are for sale down at low and yellow is the best color. Look at that. It just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop here, take some pictures of my car and then go home. But for now, thanks for watching.